Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we will see another example on Power Automate where we will see how to delete all files from a SharePoint document library as well as I will show you how to delete files which are older than let's say 7 days or 20 days uh, from the same uh, SharePoint document library. So we will do those examples. So here we will learn two things as I said these two scenarios that we will cover apart from that in this demo we will be able to know how to use flow actions like get files uh, properties only and delete files so this kind of examples or this kind of flow actions we will see in our example now without further delay what I will do is I will open my SharePoint site ok in case you are interested for SharePoint training I have a complete SharePoint training course where are 27 modules are there it includes your flow, power automate, uh, power bi, spfx, everything is there on this uh, apart from SharePoint things. So you can have a look at this, I'll put the link in the video description. So you can uh, you can get it lifetime accessible also. Now, um, so in this case, if you will see, I have uh, one library here in this SharePoint site contract. Uh, here are few documents are there. Apart from that, I have also another library where uh, uh, there are certain other libraries are there sorry other other files are there so this why two libraries because uh, uh, we will see two examples two scenarios that's the reason i have taken two uh, libraries on that now i have also written a complete tutorial on the same where uh, i have explained these things you can see here delete files more than uh, 30 days old so these are uh, the examples that we have covered in this and this is the complete tutorial you can see step by step screenshot everything is there on this you can follow that as well i'll put the link in the video description now what i'll do is i'll go to flow.microsoft.com so if you are new to microsoft flow i'll i'll put a link in the video description where you will see how we can start with microsoft flow now here i logged in with my office 365 credential so if you have not logged in then it will ask you to log in since i have already logged in that's the reason it didn't ask me and uh, what I will do here is I'll click on create flow now in this create flow what I'll do here is I'll choose the second option which is instant cloud flow that means we can run this flow manually so click on this and you can see manually trigger this flow and the name I'll give let's say delete all files from library okay so this is uh, my flow here uh, my flow name and I select manually trigger so that we can run this flow uh, manually as well as you can if you are installed uh, Microsoft flow app then you will be able to run this app also from your mobile and then click on create so once you click on create you can see here our flow is uh, I mean ready now uh, ready means with uh, our default flow action manually trigger a next what I will do here is click on next step and in this case search for get files and you will see a SharePoint flow action which is a related to the SharePoint uh, library you can see and properties only select this and you will come up with this uh, screen where it will ask you to provide the site address library name in this case I will simply copy my uh, site name here and I'll go here uh, you, you can choose over any site that you have here or you can click on that enter custom menu and you can put your uh, SharePoint site URL if it is not already there and then we need to select uh, the folder from where we are going to delete it in this case uh, first let me delete it from here in this library excel demo so i will select here excel demo you can see this is the library and we want to delete all the files so we are not going to add any condition here next what we will do here is uh, i'll click on next step and on this i will search for delete file so you can see here delete file uh, and the last one you can see here uh, this is the sharepoint one so select delete file that flow action and it is asking for uh, for the uh, sharepoint uh, site address so i'll select again i'll put the custom values i'll select enter custom value and i'll put this link here and then I will select the identifier here so which file basically we want to delete it so here I will select I will choose identifier so just search over here and you can see here identifier the moment you selected the identifier 
so you can uh, see here um, it is it it comes under apply to it so it will delete all the files whatever is coming let me just delete this and I'll select again so enter custom value and this is the site so now you can see here so then identifier is there so you choose this now what we will do here is I will save this flow you can see here I save this flow our flow is ready now so now if you go to my flow you will be able to see the flow you can see here delete all files from library this is our flow you can click over this run button or you can select it then there is a run button or you can click over here and there is a run button also over there uh, run so you can do that let me just click on run over here continue we require that and then run flow so now our flow run so you can see here your flow run successfully i mean started so now we can see the history actually on this click over there and you can see the uh, flow succeeded and you can see everything is fine now so if i will go to the excel demo this is uh, the library and you can see no files are there it deleted all files from this sharepoint library so this is first condition that we saw it here next uh, the next example that we will see here is let's say you want to delete a file which are created more than let's say a 30 days or something so you can see there are couple of files created on february 13 to january 20 and an hour ago so for this what i'll do here is i will choose another library this time it is contract so i'll go back here and uh, go to my flow and in this case you can just edit the flow you can create a new flow if you want i'm just doing it by editing that particular flow here now in this case first thing is we have to select now a different library for this in this case the library name is contract so the first one you can see and the next one is we have to add a filter query here you can see there is a filter query that filter query is important here now let me let you understand this so we have to check this condition now look at this condition so we are checking less than created so this is your created date column uh, that internal name and then there is a formula add date uh, utc time format we have to convert it to a particular utc format and this is minus seven so it will check last seven days so if you want to add 20 days you can do like this minus 20 you can add and this is the format how it is in, according to my time zone so it is y y y y hyphen mm and then dd that is how your created date time format is there and we can use this now how we will use this now let us say i'll go to created and in this case i'll just paste it and what i will do next is uh, look at the formula here we have to use the expression here so i will put uh, single quotes here and within that i'll go to the expression and i can take that formula so the formula is add date and this is the formula basically i'll simply copy this and i will paste it here and i'll say okay so now if you look at this your formula becomes like this uh, so in this case what it will do is based on our filter query it will return those items rather than rather than returning all the items so i have given 20 days and next in the apply to each all these things will be same uh, the library uh, the file name and uh, these things will be same so we don't really need to change any other things on this I'll click on save and next I'll let it save properly you can see here it has been saved I'll just click edit once and just we will see whether everything is correct or not you can see here our filter everything is correct I'll go back to the flow now um, go to my flow and then we will simply run this same way you can see run flow the flow run successfully started I mean the flow started you can click on that and then you can see the second one also we deleted successfully i mean run successfully and in this case you can see only one i or five items are there so let me just go over here i will simply click on that you can see within 20 days all other things has been um, a condition has been satisfied so only one uh, which is created uh, before an hour 
except that other files got deleted so this is how we can also based on the condition we can delete files and I hope you like this video and if you want more kind of similar videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get lot of free videos on power platform like power bi power apps and power automate spfx sharepoint normal videos everything will get it free so thank you and have a nice day